Hi everyone, and how are you doing? Welcome to this street lesson. Today we're going to be talking about something called Maslow's Hierarchy of Needs. And this diagram here is something, it's a triangle and it has five sections on. And this is a psychologist called Mr. Maslow who came up with the idea of the hierarchy of needs. What humans need are different levels to reach different levels of happiness. So we're going to start from the bottom, we're going to work our way up to the top of the triangle and talk about the different needs and the different levels. So, let's go. This first level here at the bottom is called physiology. And this is the level what humans need to survive and to uh, just be alive. And there are six things that humans need for this level, for basic survival. And these things are air, food, and water. These are the things that keep humans alive at the very basic level. Uh, slightly up from this are clothes and shelter. So to protect yourselves from the elements, to give yourself heat in the, uh, in the cold, in the winter. The sixth thing that people need is sexual instinct. And humans need this to be able to reproduce. If a species can't reproduce, then uh, they're going to die and they're not going to be very happy. So these six things, so you have food, air, water, clothes, shelter, and sexual instinct, make up physiology and the first basic level of uh, Maslow's hierarchy of needs. The second level we have here is safety. Humans need to feel safe in their lives to be able to um, enjoy slightly better. You have food, you have air, you have water, this is great. But if you're scared of people killing you every day, if you live in a war zone or you live somewhere where you're in danger, you're not very happy, should we say. And there are a few different uh, levels of safety. There's physical safety, so someone's uh, trying to kill you. Uh, there's domestic violence, things like this in the home. But there's also financial safety. So if you're scared you'll lose your job and you won't find an another job in a bad economy, this is bad. There's health and safety. If you don't have your health or you live in a place where the hospital system is not enough to take care of you, this is another way that you will not really be so happy and you're struggling with your life. So we have physiology and we have safety. The third level on this triangle is love and belonging. And this is basically to have people who care for you, to have family who love you, who support you, who uh, give you these needs that you have. There are three types. There's family, there's intimate relationships with lovers, husbands, wives, boyfriends, girlfriends, and there's circles of friends. And there's also organizations that people join to try and get this love and belonging, such as sports clubs, music groups, religious organizations. And interestingly, people actually give up the level of safety to get this love and belonging. For example, people join gangs to have a sense of belonging. They will give up their, give up their safety to actually join the gang. There's uh, people who suffer from domestic violence, for example, women and some men who get beaten in the house, who will actually forego safety and stay in an abusive relationship uh, because they're scared of being alone. So this love and belonging actually overrides the safety. So once we have these three sections, we have physiology, we have safety, and then we have love and belonging. Generally here where we live in Europe, I live in Europe, we have these bases covered. This is pretty good. Now the fourth level is called esteem. And esteem means uh, respect and to be treated with respect. And there's two types of esteem. There's lower esteem and there is higher esteem. Lower esteem basically means all the esteem you get from other people. Uh, people tell you, you're great, you're wonderful, you're amazing, you're great. And this is why a lot of people with very low self-esteem self about themselves, they seek fame and they seek glory and the things like this so that they get people telling them they're great and they're wonderful. So they try and seek this. But the higher level of esteem is self-esteem. If you feel good about yourself, if you feel uh, comfortable who you are and you don't need other people to tell you, this is the higher level of esteem. And here in Europe, and most of the developed world, I would say, we suffer from this higher esteem because media and advertising constantly work on the premise that we are not good enough. You're not good enough unless you buy this product. So you're not tall enough, you're too short, you're too big, you're too small, your hair's wrong, you're too blonde, yeah, yeah, yeah. Buy this product and it will make you happy. So basically, advertising in our modern media works to lower our self-esteem so we buy products. But if we get past this level, we're able to go to the top level, and this is called self-actualization. And self-actualization generally means you're happy with yourself, 
you have safety, you have love and belonging, and you have all your basic needs met. This means when you have a dream or a goal, so you want to achieve something and you want to get to a certain place in your life, actually progressing towards that dream or that goal will bring you more happiness than owning products and uh, a lot of the other things that people seek. These dreams and these goals is what will bring you happiness. The problem is that we have in modern society is most people don't choose a goal or a dream. There are millions of different potential things you could do. You could be a great doctor, you could be a great sports person, you could be a great actor, you could be a great anything. All you need to do is choose one. And most of the problems we have is people don't even choose that one thing. And a very good metaphor to summarize this is if a boat leaves a harbor and you're on a boat and you have a destination, you will work towards that destination. You may go this way, you may go that way, but eventually you can get there. But if you come out the harbor and you have no goal and no destination, you will go round and round in circles until your boat sinks. So this is the top level, self-actualization. Get a dream, get a goal, and work towards it. So quickly, in summary, of these five parts of Maslow's hierarchy of needs are, we have right at the bottom here, physiology, the things you need, food, water, clothes, shelter, sexual reproduction. We have safety, to be safe in a number of different areas. We have love and belonging. So you have people around you, an organization that loves you and you belong to this group. We have esteem, so you feel good about yourself, you feel confident, you feel happy, and you get this esteem and respect from other people, from the things that you do. And the final one is this self-actualization. And this gives you the goal and the drive and the thing you need to really be happy. Once you have achieved all these, then you need to help people go back up through it. And it's a never-ending cycle of rising up and feeling better. So that's about everything for this lesson. I very much thank you for watching it, and I look forward to seeing you next time. Okay, bye-bye.